Hello and welcome to today's podcast where we will be discussing how to develop a professional trading plan. As the adage goes, if you fail to plan, then you plan to fail. This is especially relevant in trading where risk management and a clear strategy are key to success. In this episode, we talk to David White, the lead account manager at Black Bull Markets, about how to build a trading plan from the ground up. So keep listening if this is something that you've been struggling with. So let's start by talking about the importance of having a well-prepared trading plan. Why is it so crucial for traders to have a clear strategy, David? Thanks, Mark. Um, Well, look, as you mentioned uh, in the introduction, trading can be risky business. And uh, having a clear strategy is key to managing that risk. Uh, A trading plan really helps you stay focused on what your goals and objectives are and gives you a framework for making decisions in the markets. Right. And when we talk about a trading plan, we're not just talking about learning a setup and executing it, are we? No, no, we're not. So a real trading plan addresses a set of questions with actionable answers. Uh, You could think about it as a set of rules to follow. Can you give an overview of a trading plan to our listeners? Sure. Uh, There's no set format for length of a trading plan, but uh, the example I have encountered the most often consists of about 10 or more questions. I provided you with this earlier, Mark, so if you could read off each question, I'm happy to spend a bit of time on each one. Sure, let's do that. Uh, So question one is, what is the plan's concept? Yeah, cool. So for this question, you want to state the broad overview of the plan. Uh, Remember here that simplicity trumps complexity, so keep your system's concept simple. For example, your concept could be uh, trading a trending market, and then the next questions you're going to be more specific. Question two, what is the plan's objective? Sure, so for this question, you want to expand upon the concept a little bit and explain how you stay aligned with your concept. So an example for this answer could be to ensure the trades are only made in line with your established trend when momentum is confirmed while avoiding retracements. Nice. Question three, what assumptions do you hold for why the plan should work? For this question, you should state your reasoning for why this plan should be successful based on your experience in testing. Uh, You might even like to answer this question last after you have done more extensive uh, testing. Question four, what assets will you trade and why are these ideal? Here we're getting into the small practical details. So an example answer here would be Forex, Gold, Silver, and they are ideal because they are assets that tend to trend. Question five, what tools will you use? For this question, I'm talking about indicators. So something like uh, five week simple moving average, five day simple moving average, uh, five day RSI. Uh, these would be appropriate example answers. Question six, what time frame or time frames does the plan work with? For this question, all you need to do is simply state what time frames you will be confining your plan to. So here you'll state weekly, daily, or some of the smaller time frames, or any combination of time frames. Question seven, how often does the system need to be monitored? Uh, this rule will help set you boundaries for your trading. So my example would be three times per day. Uh, question eight, what are the potential problems? You have to be aware of potential pitfalls uh, with your plan for a well-rounded vision. So this question helps you think over variables that may interfere with your trading plan. So something like a lack of discipline, um, attempting to trade in a choppy market, for example, or a misleading or misconfigured momentum indicator uh, could be potential answers for this question. Uh, Question nine is where do you place the stop loss? Again, this is a very little but extremely necessary practical question. So going off the hypothetical answers I've given so far, um, I would sort of state the following rule, which would be stop loss to be placed at the boundary of yesterday's high or low, depending on the direction of the trend. And lastly, we have question 10, which is what are the exit conditions? Of course, an exit condition should be stated to avoid drawdowns and maximize the success of a trading plan. Uh, So you could state an exit condition as the formation of certain candles or changes in your indicators or some kind of retracement uh, level being met. I see. So that was all the questions you gave me, David. And once you have answered all these questions and have a plan in place, should you continue demo trading to see how it performs in the real market? Yeah, exactly. Uh, Demo trading allows you to test your systems and adjust as needed. Uh, You can also keep records of your performance and identify potential problem areas. 
and it's important to be systematic in your decision making process right yeah absolutely uh, you need to identify the same kind of situation time after time uh, to properly investigate the odds of your system and generate meaningful statistics so we've talked about the importance of having a clear strategy and a well-prepared trading plan what are some final thoughts you'd like to leave our listeners with yeah i'd, I'd just like to say that uh, developing a professional trading plan takes time and effort but it's well worth it in the end uh, a good trading plan will help you manage risk stay focused on your goals and make more informed decisions in the markets. So if you're serious about trading, take the time to develop a plan that works for you. Thanks, David. Thank you for tuning in to our podcast today. We hope you found this discussion on how to develop a professional trading plan informative and helpful. Remember, trading is risky business, but with a clear strategy and a well-prepared trading plan, you can manage that risk and increase your chances of success. From all of us here at Black Bull Markets, Happy trading.